Hey there guys, this is Levi from Masculine Intuition Readings and today I'm going to be, uh, well it's not really a first look because I have played with this deck a lot, I've been working with it for about a week now, I'm going to be doing a, you know, get to know me, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, with this deck right here, this is the Prairie Majesty Oracle and um, this is probably one of the best oracles to come out in 2021. Honestly, um, I've been following these ladies for a while. Um, from the beginning when they just started out, um, I, I, I even helped them a little bit because they wanted to uh, send advanced copies to uh, some influencers and um, they knew that I used make playing cards, so they asked me for some help. It was a very short exchange, so I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna take any credit for that. But you know, like we we have been in touch, and then this deck went live on Kickstarter, and I was like, do I back this? Because honestly, the art style is not really my jam, um, but something about it uh, and. I mean, like, art style is not my jam. I don't really feel a connection to the prairie whatsoever. Um, um, but something about the deck and the way it was constructed, it was constructed so mindfully, um, made me want to get it. So I went on a limb and got it. I backed it uh, a while back. And uh, it's probably one of the best Oracle decks to come out in 2021, honestly. Like, um... It's really amazing, and I will tell you guys why. Um, so I'm gonna do a full flip through, top down, all that uh, fancy as bullshit. Um, but I wanted to show you guys why this deck is so good. So there are four bonus cards in the deck that I don't really use, uh, but you could use them. They're the celestial cards. So you have the sun, the moon, the clouds, or sky and the stars. Uh, so you could kind of use those, uh, you could add them into the mix. There's no keywords on them, but you could use the guidebook. The guidebook provides great keywords, but you could also kind of use them as like spread positions, something like that. Um, I think these illustrations are really cute and they're a nice touch to the deck. So I don't think I'm gonna use them that much, but I'm just gonna put them aside. Uh, the deck, like I already showed, comes in a really great rigid two-piece box um, with lovely art on the inside. Explore your sovereign nature. Look at that, like that's actually really thoughtful. I had never really noticed that before. Um, um, really great, really great box. Uh, it has a little thumb taps, which everyone really likes uh, and which are, very, which are very handy. And then uh, we get a deck and we get a really good guidebook. Um, this is one of those Oracle decks where the guidebook adds a lot. So you could use this straight out of the, you could use this deck straight out of the box. Uh, but the old, but the guidebook really adds a lot. It's produced really well, um, and I will show you in a minute. But this deck is divided into four suits, one suit per element. Uh, although they don't really describe it as such an elemental card deck, uh, uh, they don't really describe it like that. However, um, they kind of are. So we have yellow cards that are all about doing. The pink, purplish cards are all about knowing, the blue ones are all about feeling, and the green ones are all about claiming. So um, yellow would be fire, a purple would be air, blue would be water, and green would be earth. So that kind of like, you know, it kind of ties in. Uh, now, you may think, how do you know which color is what? Well, whenever you like check the main keyword uh, is always in the color. So um, so yeah, <laughs> that's how you check. And then if you want to use the guidebook, they did something very clever. I don't know if it shows up on camera. It kind of does. You can kind of see the color coding right here. So you know which section you need to like look at and they're all in alphabetical order. So um, 
the guidebook, I'm not gonna show this in the flip through, but I, so I might as well show it now. The layout of the guidebook is gorgeous with pictures, illustrations. This is really good production quality. So it's actually quite amazing. So yay for that. And um, yeah, the quality of the deck is amazing too. Um, first of all, I've never had a deck with rose gold edges and this looks really good. The quality is really good. The cardstock is my personal favorite type of matte cardstock that is not too thick, not too thin. Sounds like this. ASMR, I could, I could tag this video as, as, a, as an ASMR video. You know, it's that that perfect matte cardstock that I wish more people would use. I really, really kind of want people to kind of jump off the rose petal finish bandwagon because it's really hard to fan those out nicely on your table. I also kind of want people to get off the 400 GSM cardstock bandwagon because I can't work with decks that are, that are this thick. Uh, so this is perfect. I think this is about somewhere between, I think this is 350 GSM, might even be a little bit more, I'm, I'm not sure, but that kind of feels like it. It's very, very pliable and it shuffles great. Um, so um, what I like about this deck is, so at first, and the, the creators know this, I mean, I was really upfront about it. Um, I didn't really resonate with the art, um, although it is really like, I'm in love with it now, but when I saw it for the first time, I was kind of like, yeah, it looks a little bit folksy, a little bit hokey pokey, hobby lobby, holly hobby, which is fine. It's a style. Um, but that's, the art is not what um, made me fall in love with it. The system, however, is fucking amazing. So like I said, you have a keyword at the bottom. And what I love is that all the keywords are verbs. So this is a very action oriented deck. There's no, you know, sometimes when even I do this, when I read, we kind of like use these vague terms uh, to kind of like soften the blow a little bit this deck calls you the fuck out. <laughs> There's no softening the blows here. So this card says strut. And then it says somewhere on the card what animal it is. If you didn't know already, so this is the kill deer, which is a prairie animal because all of these animals and plants that are in this deck are all like to be found in the prairie, which I don't really have a connection to whatsoever. How, however, uh, I bought the deck because of the great choice of words, and you will see more of that during the during the flip through. It's not going to be a silent flip through. I'm going to be taking my sweet time. So you get strut, and then at the top you get a question, <laughs> and it says, "Am I carrying myself with love?" And all of these questions are really thought provoking, heart hitting. <laughs> and I actually messaged the creator I was like. This deck looks really cute, but it's not. <laughs> this deck calls you out. It calls you the fuck out. So, um, and I think we need more Oracle decks like that. Like the, it's, it's really good. It's really well thought out. The keywords are gorgeous. Let's not, um, oh, and by the way, when I was talking about the art, it's no shade to the creators at all. It's just what I thought of it at the time. I was like, I like things that are either really minimalistic or really, 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 um, really super, super detailed. Uh, for example, I love, um, I love the Soul Cart Sero by Christine Fredheim. I don't know if you guys know that, but that's very minimalist. Um, and, but I also like the Marielle, which are very elaborate oil paintings that took 11 years to make the full deck. So. I'm kind of difficult with that. Um, and this kind of sits somewhere in the middle. So I was kind of like, hmm, don't know if I'm that into it, but you know, as I saw this deck getting developed, I fell in love with it more and more and more and more and more. And yeah, this is, um, Oracle deck wise, this is, it barely gets better than this. Um, 
The Threads of Fate Shadow Oracle still is my favorite Oracle deck, um, but this is so well devised. Um, no fluff, no angels, no eternal love. You know, this is all at the prairie, so we got to get our paws dirty. Let's go to top down view and check out all the cards. Yay! All right, so let's look at the celestial cards first. So, like I said, we have the sun, we have the moon, we have the stars, and we have the sky. Now, let's really quickly look up in the guidebook uh, how these are supposed to be used. So, these are called the celestial cards. And they're kind of bonus cards and they suggest the movement of energy flow in a spread. They help you see overarching themes in how the other cards fit together. You can mix them in with the rest or pull one specifically for an extra layer of the meaning. So they do kind of place these outside of the deck already themselves, which is pretty interesting actually. Um, and I kind of do that too. So I have already like tried a spread, mm, things like that. So let's get into the cards and we're gonna start with the suit of fire. Um, so these are all very much action oriented. Um, these cards are named the do cards. So we gotta keep that in mind. So we have, what am I opening into emerge for the Eastern Tiger Swallowtail? That's really cool. What am I opening into? What is ready for action? The Red-Tailed Hawk. Dive. What energizes me? Coyote. Play. Where am I ready to leap forward? The Grasshopper. Jump. Am I carrying myself with love? Killdeer. Strut. What do I want to carve out space for in my life? The prairie dog, dig. What is mine for the doing? What is mine for the doing? Prairie mound ant, work. What am I integrating? Beaver, build. Am I ready to be seen? The bald eagle, soar. What is next in my becoming? The dragonfly turn. And what is ready to go so I can grow? Wildfire burn. I love that. <laughs> like these are not in the order they came in. So I don't know if I like specifically had to like lay them out in a certain order, but I really, really, really adore it. So then we're gonna go to the air suit which is all about knowing and i kind of attributed these elements to them i think i may have seen them in the guidebook but am i honoring my knowing the white-tailed deer trust what more would more tenderness help the deer mouse nest i love that i love these verbs these verbs are not your run-of-the-mill Oracle deck keywords. They're very special. There's something special about them. Which course takes me home? Compass plant, map. What if everything is already working out? Ladybug, charm. What does standing still reveal? Gray blue heron, reflect. What eternal knowing can I access in human form? 13 lined ground squirrel, remember. What am I listening for? The great horned owl? Here. What would help me feel safe in opening up? Mallard, dabble. I love that this word is in here. Uh, I, this is one of the cards that made me go, oh yeah, I, I want this deck now. I'm like, such great, great word choices. Like, I love dabbling. <laughs> How can I know myself as absolute? The bison, B. 
What can I learn from observation? Crow, notice. And here comes another one of my favorites. How does the situation look and feel from a different view? The stink bug, flip. Now, as you can see, I love this one too, by the way. Some of the cards have like photos for the background. Some of them don't, some of them do. I love it actually. Um, um, and, and it's really, it's really weird. Like something about the way these women constructed this deck, uh, there's something really special about it. I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it yet, but it is really good. It is really good. Okay, so now we're going to go into the suit of feeling, which is, in my opinion, water. Am I singing my song, Marble? Oh, the dick sizzle. <laughs> Never heard of that bird. What is mine to share? The honeybee, sweeten. Hmm. How can I deepen trust that my intuition knows the way? Wind, blow, I love that. What role is mothering energy playing in my life? Eastern Cottontail, nurture. That's one of the more hard hitting cards for me. Where is my strength, the elk, endure? What enchants me, wild bergamo, delight? Am I receiving peace, river, soothe? What gift awaits, cottonwood, glitter? Oh man, you gotta glitter. You have to glitter this shit up because, you know, like, these verbs really work for me. Um, what am I, whoops, <laughs> what am I cleaning up or converting? Turkey Vulture Digest, very, very good card. Do I accept myself without judgment? Earthworm, breathe. And then the last from the water suit, what reminds me I'm free? Prairie smoke, liberate. Lovely. Lovely verbs. Sometimes you will find that you, you will find your, you, yourself sitting with a card and thinking, how is this question connected to this, um, to this, um, this verb? But whenever you sit with them for a while, you will find out. Okay, last but not least, the suit of claim, otherwise earth. Big blue stem. How can I be of service? Shelter. What riches do I carry within? Prairie soil. Hold. Is it time to reclaim and reinvent the structures in my life? The black-footed ferret, take over. In my pursuit, is my pursuit both honorable and focused? Mountain lion, stalk. Whoops, am I fully claiming my authority? Badger, defend. How can I safeguard what is sacred to me? Meadowlark, protect. What is mending? Purple, coneflower, heal. How am I the light in the darkness? Luna moth, radiate. What kind of release would protect clarity in my space? Striped skunk, clear. Ah! You see what they did there? What kind of release? <laughs> wow, I love that. That's so funny. Where do I give and receive the butterfly milkweed match? Hmm. And last but not least, how can I know myself as bigger than any fear? Prairie king snake shed. Like I said, the verbs they have chosen is amazing. Uh, I'm not gonna go through the, well, you know what? I think I am gonna go through the guidebook. Um, 
I'm just going to pull, I'm just going to shuffle the deck really quickly. You guys are going to have to bear with me because I'm not going to edit the shit out of this. This is not my job. This is just something I do for fun. Something I do out of passion and something I do because I like it. And um, <laughs> y'all are not entitled to great editing skills every time. Sometimes, but not every time. All right, let's see what this deck has to say to us. Ooh. We got the elk. Where's my strength? Endure. So I could already like read this because this is a very, very confronting question uh, for me because I have had to be very strong lately. Uh, I have had to show a lot of endurance and I'm kind of over it. <laughs> but you know, like, let's see what the guidebook has to say. So what I do is, like I, like I said, you can very easily see which suit is where, and then all of these like names are in our order. So that's actually amazing. And then before each suit you get, or at the end of each suit, uh, they explain a lot of stuff. Like it's, it's amazing. <laughs> so, and then you get, um, a couple of pages of text, which is actually amazing. Usually two pages per card. Now let's see, some life experiences leave us longing for the reassurance and sagacity of a beloved elder, someone who knows how it feels. Sagacity probably, yeah. <laughs> Anyone, someone who, anyway, someone who knows how it feels and that it won't last forever. If you feel engulfed, saturated, or overcome right now, take heart. Elk guards the bridge to the other side with utmost care. He comes when the only way is through. Elk is most active at dawn and dusk. Those transitional times between night and day. Although he has strength and speed, his message today is more about spiritual stamina. How do his attributes translate? Start with antlers growing heavenward from your crown. Reject any mindset that asks you to truncate your otherworldly senses until the situation is over. No pain, no gain. And work hard, play hard might appear innocuous, but their energetic imprint is fragmenting, especially when we have nothing physical left to give. Pushing ourselves further is not the answer. Find a moment in the midst to plug into source or God energy, okay? What does that look like for you? Hmm. Give an elk's infamous bugle call. Consider sound options like your own vocalization, humming or singing. Ask what would break up the elemental load. Consider the design of elk's fur, which sports an extra layer in winter. His undercoat keeps the heat in, even when the outer layer is caked with snow. What would insulate you from absorbing your external circumstances at the expense of your inner comfort? Invite elk's cousin, white-tailed deer, to help you trust your knowing although the male elk may have a more commanding physical presence. Elk herds are actually matriarchal. Hmm. Let your knowing lead you over the bridge and find out how strong you really are. So this is really interesting. Uh, so you get this little piece of text right there, but there's kind of a too long don't read bit at the bottom. Uh, and I, to be honest, I hadn't really looked at the guidebook that well yet. Um, I mean, I did know that it was constructed really well, um, but I thought it was actually pretty cool. Quite wordy, which I like because, like I said before, we already have enough fluff. Now let's see this suit. The blue field cards tend to teach honoring your emotions without judgment while ushering in more desirable states. So yeah, honestly, um, the elemental attributions um, really uh, match with the colors and uh, um, the tarot. So there's that. This deck is absolutely gorgeous. You'll see me using it a lot more. Uh, once again, cardstock is amazing. Rose gold edges are amazing. I'm in love. This has been the Prairie Majesty Oracle. Uh, written by, written and designed by 
Kara Simmons and Amy Putney Kunich. And uh, this has been Levi from Masculine Intuition Readings. Good day.